Okay, we can read another question from the IB question bank on topic 12.2. Um, and we're looking at uh, nuclear emission. Because it asks, the question asks for which one of the following provides evidence for the existence of nuclear energy levels. We're quite, we're quite familiar with the idea of atomic energy levels. These are the orbits that electrons are restricted to. But it turns out there are also nuclear energy levels. Energy levels that the nucleus of the atom is also restricted to. So which one of these four things can give us evidence of that? Well, it can't be X-ray spectra, because X-rays come from electrons, not the nucleus. It can't be absorption spectra, because absorption is the result of, again, electrons absorbing energy, not the nucleus. And it can't be visible line spectra, because third time in a row, actually, visible line spectra are the result of emissions from electrons. So all three of these are electron properties. Only gamma ray spectra are emissions from a nucleus. Gamma rays are also photons, just like the photons emitted in visible line spectra, and just like the photons absorbed in absorption spectra, and just like the photons emitted in X-ray spectra. But the difference is that these photons are the result of energy emissions from within a nucleus, and those energy emissions can only be in discrete amounts that correspond to transitions between energy levels in the nucleus. 